Well, summer's over, leaves are changing. You know what that means? Spooky time. Hey y'all! Welcome to Cooking with Jayla. I'm your host, Jayden, Jayla, whatever the hell you want to call me. And today we're cooking with gay! I shouldn't say that, it's really offensive. <laughs> well, you suck! What you got? What you got there, buddy? Candy corn pizza, Halloween special. It's so, mmm, so good. We're gonna, we're gonna do that now. Minion, bring it up. Thank you, Minion. Okay, we got a nice Dergerno pizza right here. Come. Thank you, Minion. You can leave now. Skadoodle. We got a big, we're gonna do a variety. What did I just say? I, I will. I'll get you. We're gonna be cooking a DiGiorno pizza with some autumn mix. We're probably gonna take the weird chocolate ones out. But I think we should incorporate the pumpkin. Let's get on that. Should we use a pizza? This says cook it on this thing directly, but... You mean za? Yeah, za correctly mm -hmm. on there, but like, if the candy corn melts and it's gonna smell really bad burning in the oven, should we use a pan? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna melt all of it. Oh, yeah. It's so gross. You don't want to taste it? Oh, oh god. First step on this pizza boy. It says preheat to the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's figure out how to do that. Big knob. This knob. Thanks, helpful hand out of nowhere. Okay. I think now we should prepare the pizza. First thing to do, we gotta take this bad boy out of its condom. We gotta open that. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, that smells good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's not like it's been sitting out. I don't know if we gotta cook it with the carburetor or not, but we're gonna use this thing. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. Open this thing up. Okay. Mmm. Look at those fine ingredients. Thank you, helpful hand. Mmm. Pumpkins are my favorite. So what we gotta do? We're gonna take a bowl. We're gonna dump that out. Wow, that's a lot of candy corn. Garbage. Don't recycle it. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take another bowl. And we're gonna pick everything out except original candy corn. This might take a while. Probably should have done this from the bag. This is gonna be harder. Wait, hmm. What's your favorite kind of candy corn? I hate candy corn. All of it? Yeah. Are you gonna try the pizza? Yeah. You are? Yeah. I wanna. I'm going to, because yeah. I have to, because I'm the star, but... I might. I don't know. I, I'll try this cake. What, the black one? Yeah. It's kind of chocolatey, but not really. Oh, a normal one got in there. God, look at the border's horrible. Yeah, not so good. I like the pumpkins. They're like the, just this, but squishier. They're this, but... They're this, but squishier. I don't like candy corn. I'm sorry. Can't change people's opinions. I also don't like. Um, Lane, what are you doing? What's it called? What peanuts? Um, like no. peanuts? No. It's like it's like it's not taffy. It's caramel. Like, no. Okay, guys. Now that fuck shit, I'm on the floor. It's fine. Okay, now that we've segregated all the 
brown candy corn out. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds super racist. Now that we segregated the two kinds of candy corn, we got original and not so good. Wow, what about perfect timing, y'all? Let's get this candy corn pizza ready. Let's go. Mmm. Spread it. <laughs> now, we gotta spread it out. Mmm, look at that. Now, I thought as an added bonus, we'd put some pumpkins everywhere. Like, kind of little, little pepperonis. Oh, shit. Pumpkins are my personal favorite. I don't know if I've said that yet, but they're good as heck. How's that look, helpful hand? Looking good? Looking good, okay. Now this pizza is thawed almost completely, so we better get it in the oven because you're not supposed to thaw it. Mmm, that's a warm boy. Slide on in there. And now, how long do we wait? I threw the box. Let me get that. 18 to 21 minutes. God damn it, Zoe! <laughs> My medication! Sorry! Now that we got the candy corn pizza cooking, let's see what else we can do with candy corn. First of all, these pumpkins, you can slice these in half. Let's do it on a safe surface. I'm gonna redo that one. First off, we're... I fucked it up again. And again and again, I fucked everything up. Karen left me, took the damn kids. Now that we got that pizza cooking, mm -mm, that's gonna be so good. We should figure out what we're gonna do with this stuff. Other than eat it. I think first off, we should cut a pumpkin in half and see what's inside. That's not quite in half, but that'll do good enough for me. Wow, it's orange. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have, mmm, mmm. Wow, two halves of a candy corn is way better than one. We can do other things too. Okay kids, we're still waiting for that pizza. Mm -mm, it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it. I guarantee you. We got RC truck. That's all you really can do with it. Attack your friends. Attack them. Attack the stove. Kill everyone. Ah! Not close enough. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did it! Hell yeah. I'm gonna back up a little. Oh, no. <laughs> Follow me. You thirsty, buddy? Hey, you dropped something. Today we're here with... A female. Wow. Intriguing. How do you feel about candy corn on your pizza, ma'am? Wow. Cultivating. Let's go ask more innocent civilians to her, let's go find them, let's go. We're here with, what's your name, young man? We're gonna ask you a couple questions, is that okay? He said that's fine. First question, how do you feel about candy corn on your pizza? What about... The oncoming nuclear assault. That'll be all, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Candy Corn Saga. The awakening of the candy corn god and his disciples. And Janet took the fucking kids. How could you take the fucking kids, you bitch? Oh god, what have I done? Hey Terry, can I borrow a shovel? Shit! Oh god! 
The end. <laughs> yeah, the end. Right? I wanted them to get hit by cars. Put a little candy corn up there. There. Say goodbye to your precious little world. Hold on. Timer just finished on the pizza. Let's take a look at the pizza that is currently in the oven. Oh wow, oh wow! That was a lot of heat. Mm-hmm. Do it, do it, do it. Pick it up. Mm-hmm, that sounds Like Pop Tarts. Yeah. Okay, boys and girls at home, pizza's out of the oven. It's looking good, it's smelling good, it smells like a damn Pop Tart. Mmm, reminds me of Halloween. Let's get this bad boy started. Oh, God. Okay, folks, here we got our candy corn pizza. Mmm, that looks, that doesn't have like any candy corn on it. Mmm, look at that. Delicious, let's try a bit. I'm really hot. But it's so good. Mmm, I can feel the cavity starting. It's honestly not bad. It's just like a I wanna say like a Pop Tart flavor. But like you put like pizza sauce on the pop tart after you do it, and then you put pepperoni. But it's not bad. Mmm. Fuck top. Play and play tart your face. Bottoms up. <laughs> We're really weird consistency. No, not at all. Great. You feel those cavities starting? Mm. It like hurts to oh. eat this. It's like eating three bags of Halloween candy after trick or treating. Mmm, look at that. I don't like this. You don't want I cooked this for you. This is what you wanted for dinner now. Eat. <laughs> eat it! Oh, you're gonna lock yourself in the bathroom again? Don't mind him. We have another thing coming for you in this special Halloween edition of Cooking with Chicken. Ah, mm -hmm. So stay tuned. For something special. Something other special will be happening in about five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. No. Okay. Hey y'all! You ready to learn how to make the best damn hot cocoa of your life? This is what you're going to need. You're going to need some chocolate sauce, some uh, Twinkies, chocolate Twinkies specifically, and a packet of hot cocoa. Maybe even more. Let's get ready. Oh yeah, and this stuff. The leftover candy corn. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do, you got to have cups, right? And milk. We have milk right here. I don't know how it got there, but it's there. But you also need another cup. This is just complicating things more, but you're gonna want things complicated because that's how life works. You gotta get adjusted. We're gonna fill this cup. I don't know. Up to there. And we're gonna microwave it for how long? Hanging me and drawing the camera. What do you say? Two? Three? Four? Well, let's do it for five minutes and see what happens. No? One minute, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna microwave that milk for one minute, 30 seconds. But we gotta melt these down. And how do we do that? We don't, because that's gonna be a lot more work. Ah, more 
candy corn. We're gonna make a cutting plate. Plate. Cut. Now this might seem a little hectic. Heck, heck, hectic. But we gotta, we gotta chop it, dude. We gotta chop it finely. Cleaver's not the best for this, so let's not use a cleaver. What should we use? Should we use this knife? This knife? This knife! We're gonna use this one. Okay, we're gonna use that knife. Chop it up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the inside of that. Mm. Now I'm not a professional chef, but I think that looks professional chef level, don't you think? Are you staring at me again? Now if it's popping like popcorn, you've done something wrong. You probably put popcorn in the microwave into a milk. And that's weird. Fuck, you did the first thing wrong. So the next thing you're going to have to do wrong is have a child. Because no one wants your children. Like, for seriously, no one wants to see that thing. It's probably going to be ugly as shit. Okay, now that you got some some candy corn, you don't need a lot because it doesn't add... It adds so much flavor that you don't need a whole lot. So you're going to see how warm that milk is. Oh god, that's ah, it's warm. It's nice warm milk. I'm gonna put it in there for another 15 seconds. That's how you do it. You gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta do that, okay? In the meantime, let's try to chop this even finer without making a huge mess. Oh look, it's done again. Uh, oh shit, I spilled milk. I'm gonna cry over it. No, I'm not. You're not supposed to cry over it. Move that, and then we add add this shit to this cup, right? Then we add this shit to that. Then we add this shit to that shit. Now you want to get a spoon and stir it. You want to get a spoon and stir it. Mmm, spoons. Now while our tea is seeping, it's steeping. Get that hot cocoa off your fingers and put some more cocoa in it. A little more. And I want to mix everything. Just make a nice chocolatey, chocolatey chocolate. Mm hmm. Why is this still here? Mmm, you're hot. Mm hmm. That's hot. So we're gonna stir all the stuff in, in, in here. Now that stirred. You're gonna want to drink that shit, right? So, what's a better way of drinking it than with a straw? To make your own straw, you just chop one end off, the other end off, and blow. And if that doesn't, if that doesn't work, finger it like that. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna want to suck it. Mmm, so good, so good. We'll be right back. Okay, I've cleaned. Oh, you wanna, you wanna speak, Zoe? No. Cameron, go to Zoe. That's what you get for speaking, you woman. <laughs> you won't do that, will you? Exactly. I win. It's all about having more power. Now that I'm all cleaned up, let's taste test this hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. A lot of little solids in there, but so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's like super sugary, but if you like sugar, then you shouldn't drink this because you will like actually get diabetes. I'm not dipping it in there. Thanks, thanks y'all for watching this video and uh. Don't try it at home, like anyone, because you might uh, throw up, like everywhere. You don't want to clean throw up, especially when it's got candy corn, chocolate bits, and pizza all mixed in, because then that shit's going to smell really bad, like, 
Oh, you should smell my bathroom. Wink, cause I, I threw up several times. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, eat a dick. See y'all later. <laughs> Let's get else to do. Okay. Goodbye.